Thank you so much, Kaylee. Uh, hopefully we'll get some more weather that'll be a little cooler later on in the show, but uh, we'll have to see about that. Right now I'm going to welcome our first live guest, Mr. Andy Burke, who is the Senior Director of Strategic Ventures at Blue Grace. What's going on, Andy? How are you this morning? Welcome to the show. Good morning, Michael. Doing real well. Doing real well. And it's 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 been down hot down here in Florida for the last few weeks, so we're used to that heat right now. Yeah, where are you calling in from? Uh, Tampa. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. That's where we're headquartered. Down in your headquarters in Tampa. So what's going on? We're going to talk about how to how to deal with the three PL. Is that is that what it is? Yeah, I think you know the shippers and and. Uh, customers, manufacturers that are between 10 and 30 million aren't always yeah. resourced to scale uh, their supply chain, data analytics. Um, what they really need to find is a 3PL that will customize and really um, find unique solutions, do the consulting, listen to them, and then turn their shipments into information that drive down cost and, and boost efficiencies. So just looking for somebody to take over their shipping or receiving, you know, their, their logistics is, is not it, right? It's not, hey, I got all these loads and I really don't want to deal with it, so let's just get somebody else to do it. That's not the key to this. You know, for, for some customers it is, but, but a lot of customers just need the additional resource or tools or methodology, a tool set, um, or the expertise in particular, particular modes or analytics, and that's what they're looking for. They have most of it built. Um, so an a la carte solution might be uh, more more for them, uh, but yeah, it can it can range from from uh, all or not almost nothing. I love this topic. It's something that we talk about with the folks from Metaphora a lot, yeah. right? Is like when to know when the partnerships that you're seeking are good and beneficial for your group. And Andy, welcome to the show, by the way. Nice to talk to you. And so I kind of want to get you your too. thoughts on that, right? It's it can be kind of tricky when either you're in the strategic partnership place or if you were a company who's looking to seek out partners, it can be hard to figure out like, okay, we want to go all in with this group or we want to go a little bit in with this group, a little bit in with them. Can you talk about how when you're searching for partnerships, you can kind of think to allocate your resources or either allocate your partnerships in different ways to maybe develop multiple partnerships? Yeah, I think, I think that um, really depends on two different functions. One is the confidentiality. And then what can you learn about their past experience with other partners? So, you know, for example, we, we are partnered with three out of the top 10 largest transportation companies. And we're a transportation company ourselves. So why would they trust us with their data? Well, with, you know, very strong internal firewalls, confidentiality, non-solicitations, things like that. Um, you need that they need to have confidence that they're not making a mistake and they're not really increasing the risk of the data with that of their company. So that's the first piece. And then they really need to cut the the development cycle. If they you know, if any shipper or a, a brokerage or a transportation company wants to develop um, a, a mode or an expertise, um, this requires years of hiring, training, putting the processes, technology, when, uh, you know, they can really plug and play what we built at Blue Grace, and, and there are others out there that you can do this, um, and, and get a very quick two-week to one-month engagement that ranges, ranges anywhere from a referral relationship to help their clients and extend these to a customer-facing mm. solution all the way up to a white label. Right where they're doing it all, but we, we they can use our engines and our expertise behind the scenes. I love that. A lot of times, it's it's difficult. Some of that trickiness comes in deciding. Okay, do we want to build this in house or do we want to outsource this? And how quickly will you see that ROI depending on the choice that you make? And so when you decide to kind of use engines like at Blue Grace and kind of seek that outside help. What are some of those baseline things that you should have established at your company before you are going out and seeking that outside source? What should you be doing right internally before you look to partnerships outside? That, that's a really good question. I think understanding your own information, uh, starting to get a sense of what the current state is and how you define that is by the data that you have, right? So where are your customers uh, what are the what are the what are the demand requirements of your customers, uh, both in terms of time, size, scope of of purchasing? Um, what is your 
uh, capacity, right? If if demand peaks up, what do you have to scale? Where where are the the uh, points where things are going to get crunched and you're going to be limited? So if you know your own situation, then it's very easy to come in for to go out to the market and say, hey, I need somebody who can help expand my capabilities here, here, and here. And, and then somebody that has experience or has uh, history uh, can, can you know, diagnose that really quickly. And, and one of the things that we do in our process is our first two weeks of an engagement with any customer, with any transportation partner, is a free consultative uh, session where we, we can't diagnose what is going to help a customer or a partner if we don't know what their current state is. So that's one of the things we help people do because we find that going into these uh, accounts, these shippers, these um, transportation providers, that there are things that they may not be aware of that they're missing, right? And, and so by having a larger footprint, a large scope of services, modes, uh, we can come in and say, hey, there's, there's little tweaks you can make or there's huge services that you can plug right in and increase uh, your efficiency, increase your, um, your, your delivery uh, metrics, your KPIs um, almost immediately. And so when you do that, when you take that little kind of consulting step and say, you know what, let's kind of establish a baseline of where your company's at before we decide if we're the right fit for a partnership or not. Sometimes some of those companies can turn around and say, you know what, we actually don't need your help. Like, let's let's take a step back and let's, let's fix what's wrong with us first before we seek that outside help. And that can almost be a good thing, too. It's like that moment of realization of, like, I need to fix myself before I go out into the world and try and fix somebody else. Can you talk a little bit about that kind of understanding in the industry and how that's not necessarily a bad thing? Understanding that you need to fix yourself and it's maybe not the time for a partnership isn't a bad thing. It can almost set you up for success better in the future. Absolutely. And a lot of the people we talk to, it, it isn't the right time, right? As we dig in, we're learning, they're learning. And what we can really provide is a mirror, right? We've either seen or gone through it ourselves. And we can hold up a mirror and say, here's where you are. And here's where the gaps or the problems that you're going to face. And, you know, maybe it's they're, they're going through an implementation of a new ERP system, right? It's not the time to integrate and get all their data, you know, humming along efficiently um, through an analytics platform. So their focus needs to be internal. There, there are lots of situations where once they get a handle on their data, there are great decisions they can make. And our job really is to make the companies better. And so a lot of times we'll engage if we can leave the company with a, a better situation, a better uh, understanding a better way to serve their customers, then, you know, we've had a positive impact and, and that's, that's fine. Um, at some point in the future, uh, they will be ready for the next step, whether that's data gathering, analytics, business intelligence, uh, restructuring all of their incentives throughout the organization to drive the right behavior, drive efficient behavior. There, there's tons of things that can, we can, help them do. Um, but if they're not ready, they, we want them to be ready and be comfortable because uh, it's, it's not going to work. You know, if, if they don't, they're not ready and they're not, you know, excited about what we're going to do together, then it's, it's it going to fail in the first place. So um, we, you know, we, we do that consulting piece as much for the customer as we do for ourselves, because if it's not going to be a successful launch or a successful partnership, then we, we also don't want to engage in it over the mm -hmm. over the long term, we have something that is a bad outcome for um, either side. Yeah, excellent stuff, Andy. Really appreciate you this morning. Uh, people out there that are interested to have this conversation, get this consultative uh, kind of service and figure out uh, if it's right for them to start pairing, uh, where do they go to? Uh, you can go to mybluegrace.com uh, and uh, A-B-E-R-K-E at bluegracegroup.com is my direct email. And someone, myself or someone from my team will open up the initial conversation and engage. So, guys, thank you very much for uh, having the time and, and kind of talking through this with me.
Excellent Absolutely, stuff. Andy. Thank you for joining us today. Great to have you guys from Blue Grace as always. Right now we're going to head over and take a look at what's trending on the world of trucking social media. We've got Christian Thomas here with us for this edition of the Social Roundabout.